Hey guys and gals, Malkuth1974 back at you with another tutorial on X4 Foundations. Today we're going to be covering how to do wings or formations or fleets as uh, they're known as in the map mode. So let's go to the map mode. There we go. Now I find that uh, it doesn't work as well in object lists, so make sure you're in property owned. Uh, if you look in property owned, you'll notice you'll have this little thing right here that says fleets. Right now I have nothing in fleets. Um, to select, to be able to make a fleet, all you have to do is just like in Windows when you're selecting files, um, if you want to say I got my vessel right here which is the Corvette and I want to select a bunch of vessels in between um, another thing, so if I want to say select everything between my vessel and security 5, I hold the shift key down and I hit the left mouse button on 5, that will select everything in between. So that's uh, pretty important, you do have to, you have to shift select everything. Or you can use control select which lets you control select everything individually, same way. And obviously if you click off something, you click on something else without hitting shift or control, you will get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab uh, my ship, uh, the Corvette, and I'm going to grab uh, my security, security one, security two, uh, well, sorry, security three. Um, this uh, cursor does, when you hit the control key, does get a little wonky. It kind of flips upside down into this weird thing. Uh, it kind of sets you off a little bit, but uh, don't worry about it. Uh, next, now that we have everything selected, you have to right click onto your uh, vessel that you want to lead it. That could be the U or that can be something else like a, a transport that you want escorted or something like that. Uh, you right click on it and you have down here it says assigned for role. Right now we have one option but sometimes you'll have options for uh, trade and mining but that's covered in something different it has to do with when you own uh, stations and stuff like that but for right now we're only covering this so um, if I click that it'll put everybody into this awesome little uh, fleet thing now we have one fleet which is cool uh, the cover how this all works um, another thing you want to do is make sure you don't have anything selected because it kind of messes everything up but um, reading up here we have the Argon Prime that's where our fleet is currently located um, also over here we have these icons this icon represents a, cor a Corvette which is my vessel which is one and this represents a heavy uh, fighter or fighter uh, which represents three of them so that means we have four vessels in uh, total in this fleet uh, we can control this fleet uh, by many ways. If we uh, look down here on the map on the icon, we can see that my vessels have just joined up with me. Uh, my vessel itself, the leader of the fleet, has a little crown over it. That means that's the leader of the fleet. And then these are all my subordinates. Suborb subordinates. I can't even say the name. Whatever. I'll call these are my subs. <laughs> um, you obviously they'll follow you around if I move around. So let's uh, let's kind of get some speed going here. There they go. If you can see, uh, they're following me around. Um, one thing to keep in uh, consideration when doing this, if your ship is faster than your subs, you, they, you will leave them behind and they might actually get lost and they might not be able to catch up with you. So keep that in mind when you're doing AI, like you're, you're protecting a different AI transport, make sure that you are matching, uh, at least they're at least faster than what you're trying to escort. And that'll there's a lot of there's a lot of es there's a lot of transports out there that are actually faster than escorts. It's kind of weird, but it's uh, it's uh, it's something you got to keep keep an eye out on. So we'll go back into the map mode. Um, another option thing that you can do is now that I have uh, all these guys selected, you can right click on your wing and you have all these options. You can uh, wing attack my target. That's if you have something targeted. So in case I'm not going to actually do this, but um, let's target let's target one of my own guys so I don't mess this up. So you hit the T key while you're you're hovered over them that targets them, and then you click this and. Obviously, I can't do it now because there we go. Um, you click this and you say attack my target. Uh, you can actually, your wing will attack that target. So that's something uh, to keep in mind. Uh, the other thing that you can do, we'll do the right click again, is uh, you can do stop and hold fire. If you don't want your guys to be attacking anything, uh, good for boarding, by the way. If you're doing boarding, you don't want them to finish off the target. That's how you stop them. Uh, wing, withdraw from combat. You can also do that, but then you're not actually telling them to hold fire, so that's uh, interesting. And then you have uh, withdraw and hold. Um, uh, I don't really know what that means, why you would actually want to do that. Uh, the other option down here is we have orders down here. We have uh, recall subordinates and we have set formations. So you have all these formations that you can do. You have uh, all the ones that you can select by the stars are based on your captain star. And all the ones you can't select are what 
if your captain isn't a four star, then he can't do eagle formation, or if he's not a five star, he can't do echelon formation. Uh, the recall subordinates works like this. I'll show you an example of this. I'll take uh, my security number two. I'm going to send him off over this way, fly to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. I'm going to wait till he gets there, and I'll be right back. All right, my guy's back. So if I want to have him come back after I send him off to do whatever he was doing over here to go dock somewhere, whatever you want to do, you can do the basic anything that you can do with any other AI. Uh, all I have to do is uh, make sure he's on selected, by the way. Uh, uh, right click on your tab up here that represents your fleet, and you hit the recall the subs here. And what he will do is he will actually start flying back. Now there is a, a caveat to this. If you send him off, I don't want you guys to get stuck with this. If you guys send him off and he's still within range, that he's close enough to you, he will not come back. So if he's only, that's why I kind of sent him off a little bit. I actually had that problem with him before, but then I figured it out that he does have a range that he will, if he's far enough away, he will come back to you. But if he's not, if he's close enough to you, he won't bother even turning around. He'll, he'll just, he'll just get back in formation with you if you do take off and fly away and all that stuff. So the other thing you can do with this, if you want to take these guys out of your fleets, you can right click on them individually. You go all the way down here and it says remove uh, assignment. That will take them out. Okay, so I just did this again. Make sure you're not an object list. You see how it kind of acted a little wonky there? I go back to property list. You notice how he's not in there anymore. If you're in property list, the whole fleet thing works so much better. Just, just remember that. A lot of times it switches back uh, to the object list when you are in the main menu. So when you come back, when you like exit the map, you come back. So make sure you're in property own when you do this. So I want to get all these guys out of here. Um, you got to individually uh, do them. So remove assignment. And then when I do this last guy, the fleet's no more. That's how you get rid of the fleets. Um, and it works the same way if you... Uh, uh, have another fleet. Let's see. I do have my Excalibur. This is a frigate. It's in Prius Mist. So he's going to be the fleet leader. And I do have four vessels with him that are also in Prius Mist. So I'm going to select all four of them. Two, three, four. I'm going to right click on him. I'm going to uh, do the default thing of them. So now I have a fleet there. I also have another Corvette. And he is in second contact. He has a bunch of ships with him. So again, right, I'm going to uh, control and I'm going to left click on that. And then I'm going to uh, right click on him and I'm going to uh, defend. So now I have two fleets of them. And of course, if I want to bring my fleet back, I'm going to do, uh, where do you go here? Uh, let me see, Corvette. And where is security one, two, three. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to do the default thing. So now I have three wings of all my combat vessels, except some of my extra ones I do have uh, in case I do lose some. Uh, when I was talking to you guys about uh, the other options, let's see if I can get this to work here. If I take minor one, and I take minor two, three, and I right click on that. No, nope, it doesn't show up. Okay, so they did fix that. That's good. I, I, th I thought they did fix that. So there is another option that you have if you own a station. I don't own any stations right now, but say you want to assign a, uh, a transport to your, your stations, you would do the same thing I did that, and you'd use the, uh, say, uh, this is the station, and you right-click it, you'll have some more options. It will say um, assign as a transport or assign as a miner or something like that. There's two other options. That's how you assign your, um, your uh, stations to uh, with our, or your transports and your miners to your station. So they did fix that. You used to be able to do that. You used to have those options in every um, in all of the any to any ship you had. But I'm glad they kind of fixed that because it was kind of confusing to people what that actually meant and did. So there you go. That's how that's how the fleet options work, guys. There's, it's not much more to it than that. Um, just just realize that it can be a little wonky and it might not work well that you how you want it to work and you might have to. You know, fudge with it a little bit to get it to work the way they want it to work, but um, that's it. So this is Malkuth1974. We'll see you guys later. Malkuth out.